Occupy Portland marchers take to the streets to mark the one year anniversary of the Occupy movement. Welcome to Coin Local 6 at 6. I'm Ken Boddy. Occupy Portland and peace groups joined together to commemorate the Occupy anniversary. The march wound through the streets to end at Shemansky Park in downtown. Coin Local 6 reporter Lisa Balick is there in downtown Portland and joins us now. And Lisa, what was the turnout like? Ken, they had a few hundred pe people. But the difference between this year and a year ago is the number where they had thousands last year. But right now, no sign of a camping tent. Take a look at Chemansky Park. No sign of a tarp whatsoever. Quite a difference. But police were ready for a repeat. Here's what happened today. About 250 marchers slowly made a commemorative walk through downtown Portland streets. Although a few made a mad dash through Chapman and Lonsdale squares, where hundreds camped out for more than a month this time last year when Occupy Portland began. This time the message was Occupy Portland, not Afghanistan. It's the 11th anniversary of the U.S. invasion of Afghanistan. Occupy Portland is alive, check, check, it is check. well, and check. it, check. while it is, has check, been check, less check. visible outside, we are just as strong. Portland police had hundreds of officers ready to respond or out along the march route. Bicycle officers blocked bridges and streets to keep the demonstrators from creating chaos. The group did have a parade permit. And in perhaps the most entertaining moment, protesters joined in the wedding photos of a couple outside the Benson Hotel. And the bride seemed to enjoy having a uniquely Portland moment on her special day. Now, the Portland Marathon gets underway around here tomorrow. Last year, they worked around the occupiers, but police are again prepared to step in if there is any trouble. Reporting for you live in downtown Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin Local 6.